guys and welcome back to another video on Your Nurse Park with me Arushi. Today we are going to talk about the summer essentials. Now I'm sure you are already ready for the summer but I just want a quick go through uh, for all the summer essentials. Speed. Now when it's summer you have to play with colors so the first thing that I have in my wardrobe is these colorful scarves. Now I have a lot of scarves in my wardrobe these are my favorite go-to scarves I mean I can wear it to anything so yeah this is the first thing. Uh, if you want to wear a scarf as a um, jacket the only thing that you need to do is take the scarf fold it into this, take both the ends and tie a knot in this. From this side, open the knot, and uh, this is what you get, just put your hands through it and voila, you're done with the summer jacket. And yeah. So scarves are good as a coverage, just to add a pop of color to um, plain t-shirt or something like that. Now printed tees and graphic tees are a must for this summer. Now I'm wearing a graphic tee saying Nakre Queen. I really like this one. I got it from Deals to Mart. This is a new uh, brand which is opening up and the website is still not um, up but they have a Facebook page and they have amazing graphic t-shirts just like this. If you want to check it out, you can check it out. The link is in the description box. Now the next thing that you need is a summer hat. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I've done a video on types of different hats that you need to own this summer. That will be coming up next after this video. So stay tuned to my channel. The next thing that you need is a beach bag or a normal bag that you could carry like this. I have a canvas bag which I got from Shopper Stop. This is very huge and good if you want to carry it to the beach. Then I have this bag which my mom just recently got from me from Esbera. Uh, there was a flat 50% off so it was quite cheap only for 400 bucks. The next thing that you need for the summer is flowy tops, crop tops, flowy skirts, flowy gowns, maxi dresses, anything except jeans. I mean I do not wear jeans during the summer. I hate wearing jeans. So yeah, different maxi dresses with different prints like this. This gives a really cool bohemian look. The really really long maxi dress. I can wear it as a skirt if I want to or wear it as a top wearing a skirt below it or wear it as a maxi dress. It's just three in one. Nice. The next thing that you need for this summer is jackets. Now sheer jackets and which has a floral print really looks great on plain t-shirts or just as a cover-up for something that you have to wear like a tube top or something like that. You can have you definitely need to have some jackets and flowy things. Now this is again a, it is actually a long jacket. Now this is a short jacket and this is a long jacket. So you need, I mean, you need to have both the varieties if you want to obviously sign a compulsion. But flowy skirts, yeah, they look so good. I mean, short skirts, long skirts, anything. Colorful, bright crop tops. They just look so good for the beat or just hanging around with your friends. The next thing that you require for the summer is chapels. Now you are not going to wear boots for the summer season. So yeah, you need to have chapels and um, these flip flops are DIY. If you want to check how I DIY them, the link is in the description box. I did the last video was about this. 
After tapas, the next thing that you require is loafers. Now, these are also very old, but yeah, you need to have loafers. These are really good and very comfortable. Now, when you're wearing loafers and flip flops, you can definitely pair it with these colorful um, anklets. I mean, they look very, very pretty when you wear anklets. A short skirt and flip flops and a cute hat is so good to go for the summer. I'm so excited for the summer, I love summer. Yeah, so you can wear these anklets. If you are a fan of boho, then boho neck pieces with different color pom poms look awesome. Now, I've DIYed this also. If you want to know how I did this, uh, please comment down below. I'll make a video on how to make these uh, amazing boho neck pieces because they are really expensive and I thought let's DIY them in zero rupees. Next uh, you need to have these, these colorful pom pom earrings. I have again DIY'd them and they look super cute. If you want to know how to make these, please comment down below. I'll make a video on different types of pom pom accessories that I've made recently. I think we're done with the fashion department so we can now jump into the beauty department. So let's go. Now the first thing uh, when it comes to beauty is taking care of your skin and taking care of your hair. Now uh, when it comes to your hair, I use this be blunt shampoo for stressed hair I have colored hair so yeah I use the be blunt shampoo and the be blunt conditioner which is amazing it works for me at least for me you get really soft hair with this and after I'm done with shampooing I use the be blunt climate control anti frizz now this is amazing I hope I, I think many of you use this now this is a replacement for the serum that I used to use uh, yeah, so this works. Now, when you start applying makeup, the first thing that you have to take care of when you go out in the sun is applying sunscreen. Now, I've been using these three sunscreens and I have a kind of review for them. This is the Lacme Sun Expert with SPF 24. It did not work for me. Uh, the skin kind of got oily. My skin is a bit oily, so yeah. If you have a dry skin, this can work for you. Then it, the second is Neutrogena Ultra Share Dry Sunblock with SPF 50. This is really good, but the best I found was Lotus Sun Safe Matte Gel. This is so good. There is no chance of your skin getting oily or something like that. This is the best sunscreen for oily skin and that's what I feel. I mean, I recommend this sunscreen. Now when it comes to moisturizing your face, again, you cannot have a moisturizer which, you know, makes your skin oily. I use this moisturizer from Patanjali which is aloe vera moisturizing cream. This is amazing guys, you can never ever feel the oil on your face and it's awesome. When it's summer, you obviously need body mists and a lot of stuff like that. Now I have a tip for you guys, I mean that's what I do. Take a lemon, okay, a lemon, cut it into a half obviously. Apply the lemon juice on your underarms, okay? You will never ever sweat. And after you apply the lemon juice, let it dry for a second or so, and then apply your perfumes. It is the best technique to have a long lasting perfume, and you're obviously good to go for the summer. Things and body mist that I use is Passion Flower from Fab India. It's a small bottle, so I can put it in my bag, and it's very good and useful. And I love the smell. It has a fruity, flowery smell. I love fruity flavors. And this is from Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction. And I love this body mist. My sister gifted it to me. I love you so much. Thank you for this. Now when you're ready with your hair and everything and when you step out of the house, 
Mumbai is a problem of a lot of moisture. So um, if you step out of the house, you have been traveling a one hour or two hours and your hair gets all wet and sticky. <clears throat> Solution for wet and damp hair is dry shampoo. Ta da! Okay, so this is an amazing thing. But the price, um, I don't know the price. Okay, it's just $2.90 or something like that. Yeah, but this is a very cute bottle, and you just have to spray it on your hair when you, whenever you feel it's oily and wet and damp. And the best part of it is it just takes two seconds and you're again with the same fresh, same fresh hair you wanted to. So this is a total must have for the summer. I just bought it because I love it. Choir is a lip balm. Uh, my lips tend to dry even during the summer. And this is from Body Shop Lip Butter and it smells like butterscotch ice cream. I love it. I love the smell. Okay, so if you love butterscotch or ice cream, this is the perfect lip balm for you. I even use a lip scrub before I go to bed. You just have to take some sugar, grind it in your mixer and take some honey and just scrub the dead cells from your lips. And yeah, and then the, and then apply this. You get amazing lips when you get up in the morning. Now these are my summer essentials when it comes to beauty. We can get started with makeup. Once you're done with applying your sunscreen, you can apply your Pond's BB cream and your concealer. Now this concealer works amazing for dark circles and dark spots and just to give the entire overall coverage, Bonds BB Cream works. Now you may call me crazy when I show this Bonds White Powder. I don't know, uh, I've been using this since ages, I mean it's been almost 5 years that I've been using this. And um, I feel this gives an amazing pressed powder coverage and uh, I don't know, I just love Pond's face powder. And just for 100 bucks, it's super affordable and it just gives an instant fresh look wherever you want to go. Next thing that you'll require after you're done with all your makeup is to set your makeup. Now, setting makeup, makeup sprays are really expensive so I found a dupe for MAC, a MAC set spray and that is how you do it. The next thing that you require is lipsticks and you can play with nude shades if you're wearing really colorful stuff below and if you're just playing with white or plain things then bright colors can totally go. I use these lipsticks from ELF. I don't know if you get it in India. I got this from my aunt in color cranberry, berry sorbet and rich red. So I love these three colors. I have one more shade which is a really uh, pink and nude color and I have no clue where it is. I've been fighting it since a very long time. I think I lost. You need to have these rosy cheeks and for that I use the Dream Touch blush from Maybelline. It gives a really natural look and it's awesome as a blush. I love this. It's really it's it's cheap it's for 400 bucks if you don't want to spend in a blush then obviously lipstick skin do now waterproof kajal and sweat proof mascara is a must i use this um kajal from mac it's a gel liner and it's awesome when it comes to curling your eyelashes 
this I ow, ow. this curler is awesome and obviously everybody owns this if you don't then please get and buy them and the Maybelline volume mascara I have no clue what is written here because it's, it's become a long time that I have this and yeah so this is amazing this is the best mascara I've ever used Now the next essential is sunglasses. Uh, you, you can buy them from Kalaba, Hill Road, Linking Road or anywhere. Just under 200 bucks and you're so looking like a star <laughs> or some chapri, any, anything. You just need to have a pair of sunglasses. What you need to own is colorful nail polishes. I mean, I have tons of different colors of nail polishes and I love coloring my nails during the summer and creating different nail art. Thank you so much for watching guys. I think this is it for the video and if you have something which you use and I've missed out something so comment down below that will help the others too. Till then do not forget to wear a smile, walk with confidence and keep it stylish and glamorous at the same time. And do not forget to carry your Instax mini camera and capture all the memories with your best friends when you go beachside or picnic for the summer. I'll see you next time. Bye.